Hi everyone, my name is Juno Massius. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video E is the romantic compatibility between ENTJs and INTPs. But before we dive into this topic, I would like to underline something about my book. It is written from a health science point of view. So we'll be looking at the anatomy, physiology, brain dominance, and so forth of the 16 MBTI personality types. And based on this information, you can determine your own type. And since I advocate that like attract like, you can determine the best romantic partner for you long term. And the last chapter of the book includes natural means to improve your overall health so that you're the best version of yourself to identify this uh, you know, best partner and also you know, be able to present the best version of yourself. So let's go back to the topic at hand. What do ENTJs and INTPs have in common? Obviously, they're both intuitive thinkers. So these are people who put emphasis on logic when making decisions, and they also are interested in the abstract future. The other aspect is that they're looking for a mind mate. So they want a partner who can, uh, you know, is interested in knowledge and power. So these are people who like to be stimulated in terms of ideas. And so they will be able to meet each other's needs on that level. The other aspect also is that the ENTJ, although officially an extrovert, will behave more like an introvert because a, a person is an introvert or extrovert depending on who surrounds them. So uh, intuitives have a better energy than sensors. And since most of the world are con you know, considered you know, sensors, so uh, intuitives need to withdraw from others to uh, recharge. So in other words, they're able to you know, understand each other on that level. Although, again, the ENTJ is official and extrovert, then an INTP is an introvert. So uh, the other aspect that uh, may be uh, good in terms of this couple is that they probably have uh, high IQs. Uh, so that usually is a, is a good uh, you know, aspect, especially when it comes to intuitive thinkers. Now, they are going to face some challenges. The first one is that the ENTJ is a judger. So these are people who are reliable, reachable, uh, and also this type um, you know, likes to control the environment more than the others because they have extroverted uh, thinking as their first function. So they want very much someone in their lives, especially their romantic partner, that, that they can really count on, who can, you know, who can organize well their lives and others. Now, the INTP being, being a perceiver, these are people who are more interested in the process of doing any task. So uh, they are not as reliable, reachable. Uh, perceivers can be uh, hardworking and, and organized, but it's only in task or project or if they're dealing with a person that they actually like. If it's not the case, they usually are not easily reachable or reliable. Whereas the judges, whether it's their private lives or personal life or people they like or not, uh, they are going to be organized and reachable and reliable because this is their nature. The other aspect also is that uh, in terms of their thinking function, the INTP uh, has TI as their first function. So these people are interested in the internal logic of any uh, subject or, or situation and so forth. So they're not just interested in the application of an idea, whereas the ENTJ very much so. So if they're talking to each other, you will see that the, the INTJ is always asking the INTP, so how do we apply this in real life? And the INTP might say, well, no, I just wanted to make sure that it actually makes sense. So they might have an issue there. The other point is that the INTP is most likely an atheist, and the ENTJ, interestingly enough, although they are very left brain dominant because they have TE as their first function, are not necessarily so because they have slower brain waves than the INTP. So they're more intuitive. And people who have NI, either the first or second function stack, are rarely atheist because they perceive a deeper reality and that sort of reality is uh, the spiritual world. So interesting enough, you could see a situation where the ENTJ uh, believes in, in God or the Lord and the INTP is actually you know not in line with that. So that could be an issue when it comes to this couple.
The other challenge when it comes to this relationship is because they're both thinkers. So these are people who are object oriented. They usually have a difficult time understanding their own emotions, let alone somebody else's. So they probably will need a third party uh, who will be able to guide them through their romantic relationship. Oh. Overall, this unit would be okay uh, in the sense that because of the fact they're both uh, intuitive thinkers, it gives them a basis because the fact that, uh, well, well, obviously they are interested in knowledge and power, um, they tend to have high IQs, uh, and also these are people who uh, are both, uh, will behave like introverts. Now obviously the fact that the entity is a judger, the other one is a perceiver, might be a challenge. Um, one may be a believer in a higher power, the other one doesn't, like the INTP. Uh, and also the fact that uh, they are both thinkers, so they might have a hard time, you know, really sort of uh, understanding their emotions, the, of the, the emotions of their partner, so they probably will need help to navigate this uh, sort of area of their lives. So let me know if you agree or disagree with uh, this romantic compali analysis by commenting below. If you like this video, if you learned something, please click on the like button. Also remember to click on the notching bell to be notified of other videos I'm going to be making. Subscribe to my channel and we will talk soon.